Whataburger and Dave Campbell's Texas Football are proud to honor the best and brightest stars in Texas high school football with the announcement of the 2019 Whataburger Super Team. Texas high school football fans from across the state nominated more than 5,000 players, resulting in more than 300,000 ballots on texasfootball.com. Of all of those, only 40 outstanding athletes rose to the top to be named with this unique honor. And joining us today for this special presentation is 2019 Whataburger Super Team Award recipient, Mikael Williams. We have the head coach of the A&M Consolidated Tigers, Lee Fedora, and representing on behalf of Whataburger, Miss Angie Neese. Welcome and, and thank you all for being here today to honor Mikael. And, uh, and Mikael, I'm gonna start it right off with you. you know, what would tell us a little bit about what your initial reaction was when you found out that you were named to the 2019 Whataburger Super Team and tell us what it meant to have the entire Tigers community really rally the vote to get you there. You know, I was just excited because I I never would have thought because I put in a lot of work and then this just is one of the accolades that comes along with it. So when when I got nominated and people started voting for me, I was just like, man, I guess it's, it's crazy to see like people that I don't even know voting for me and out of all these players in Texas, you know, it was just a great feeling. Absolutely. I know you guys have a passionate football community over there and, and they certainly did their job and you did too. So um, Coach Fedora, it's, it's great to have you uh, on the line as well. And now you got to witness all Mikel's plays and his remarkable accomplishments firsthand. Tell us a little bit about what it was like to coach him and how special it was for you to see him claim a spot on uh, the 2019 Whataburger Super Team. Well, I'll tell you, you know, coming in as a new coach and I've uh, been here now three years and, you know, seeing Mikel and, and the leadership that he brought to the table, you know, he's an outstanding young man. When you when you look at the what he accomplished in 2019, you know, he was the District 10-5A defensive MVP. He was also academic all district. That shows that he takes care of the classroom too. And then um, he was on the Padilla Pole first team all state linebacker. He was first team all Brazos Valley linebacker. Texas sports writer second team all state linebacker. What's impressive when you look at his Tiger Awards, which is where what our team votes for. He was a defensive uh, linebacker first team. He was a defense MVP and then he was picked as a team captain. And then, of course, the greatest thing, getting that 2019 Whataburger Super Team. And um, what Mikel Williams is all about, he's a great leader. I love him to death. He's a great young man and how he cares about all his teammates, his community and all that. And all it shows is how much success he's going to have in his life. And Angie, coach spoke to it right there. You know, Mikel is obviously a super bright, bright student uh, and not only a great athlete, but a great student. Tell us a little bit about what Whataburger hopes to accomplish by presenting hardworking student athletes like Mikkel with this award. Well, we all always are wanting to fuel more victories, but um, like you know, Coach said and you said, um, not only are all of these uh, award recipients not only are they athletically you know impressive on the field, they're also really really awesome students and within their community as well. I mean. Coach Fedora is listing off all of these accomplishments that Mikel has made. And so we're just super excited that we can partner with Dave Campbell to, you know, honor these students that um, have made such an impact within their, their school and their community and their family um, across Texas. Absolutely. And Mikel, you know, 2019 was a memorable year, not only for you, but, but for the Tigers as well. Helped lead them to an 11-1 season. You know, when you look back at your Texas high school football career, what will be a memory that stands out um, or, or what will you miss most about playing Texas high school football? Um, coming out the field house, slapping our, um, our sign up there. It was just, it was just something different because we had to, we just, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but like coming out the tunnel just with my brothers, all the seniors, all the juniors, it was just, it was just something special. And I know, again, the Tigers have have rich tradition. And and coach, I know, I know you wish Mikel was there another year and, and many years after that, but he's obviously off to college this year. Tell us a little bit about the legacy that Mikel leaves behind there at AM Consolidated. Like I said, one thing that Mikel did a great job of is being that leader. And I always tell guys, you know, to win championships, it's about chemistry. 
and chemistry is not built by coaches. Chemistry is about the student athletes. And that's one thing Mikel was outstanding about, you know, he made sure the guys were focused on the field, off the field, in the weight room, wherever it needed to be. He was that great leader. He was one of those young men. And this is what I told the college coaches in the recruiting process. It don't matter if, you know, he rolls his ankle or he hurts his wrist, he ain't gonna sit out. He's one of those guys gonna fight. He's that, that hard nosed type guy that he's gonna put it all on the field for his teammates and he's gonna lay it all on there. And the other great thing about Mikel that I loved about him was even if he had an unbelievable game, he was still one guy that was always gonna say, what can I do to get better? What am I gonna better myself in? And he wasn't one of them guys that just wanted to be patted on the back to get a ribbon for participating. He wanted to do everything to be a champion. And, and Angie, uh, you know, Whataburger, uh, they support Texas high school football. They're going into their third year partnership of supporting the Whataburger super team. Uh, tell us a little bit about what it means for Whataburger to be able to show their support to, to local Texas high school football teams. Yeah, and we love our partnership with, with Dave Campbell. I mean, Texas loves Whataburger, Texas loves their high school football, football in general. So um, to be part of Dave Campbell with such a long history and along with our 70 years here um, in Texas, you know, we, we are just very, very thankful to be able to honor these student athletes that have just done some amazing things for their community and their, and their team. And Coach Fedora, this is an unprecedented time with everything that's going on with the coronavirus and I know that you and your staff are, are doing everything you can to keep your kids safe. And as you guys start preparing for the upcoming season, tell us a little bit about what this past summer has been like and, and kind of what the protocols have been this fall as, as you guys prepare for, for the upcoming Texas high school football season. Well, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. It's been crazy because, you know, this is, I've been a, a head coach now 21 years. This is going to be my 22nd year of being a head coach. And this is the first time in my coaching career that we have not been allowed to have two a days. So, you know, we're out there doing sports specific training. Our kids are really stepping up, doing the things that we're asking. But I think our coaches have done a great job too, doing the proper following the protocol, you know, where just like I'm sitting here with a mask on having to talk to you, you know, we've got to be in mask. We've got to do this. We've got to make sure the kids when they're on the sideline, not doing their drills, have their mask. And of course, we don't get to start putting the pads on until September and all that. So like I tell the kids and, you know, Mikel probably tell you the same thing. I always talk to them guys. Adversity is going to strike sometime in your life. You got to keep your head up, keep fighting. You know, I always tell them God deals your cards. You play the hand you're dealt. And um, our guys have bought into that and they're still doing the things they need to do. And, you know, hopefully we get to have a regular season. But like I tell them, you never know what's going to happen in the middle of the season, but we can just prepare for one game at a time. And Mikkel, I kind of want to ask you a similar question. Coach kind of alluded to this when we first jumped on the call. He said, I barely recognize you. Who's that, who's that buff guy that's there in the blue? So you've obviously been doing your due diligence, uh, probably finding creative ways to work out. Tell us what this summer has been like for you. And um, I know that uh, you obviously have a bright future ahead of you going to Blinn College uh, this fall. So tell us how you've been preparing uh, this summer and, and what you're looking forward to most about um, playing college football. You know, it's been it's been very different as of working out wise because you can't just go to a regular weight room and so I've been finding ways, got some weights and just doing just being creative, opening my mind and just going to do footwork outside in the yard or whatever. And then just just trying to prepare, trying to put on some pounds because I mean I'm a little undersized for a linebacker, but I mean I really didn't in my in my head, it really doesn't phase me, but in other people, it's like ah. So, I may change my position or not, depending on my weight. But you know, I'm gonna keep working regardless. So, it's 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 different. It's very different. What's one thing from your game, Mikel? Obviously, you had a great Texas high school football career, and are looking to continue that moving into college. You know, what's one thing that you, if you're giving the scouting report on yourself, what's thing, what's one thing that you think that you do really well? And what's one thing that um, you've really been working on hard during the off season to improve on? Uh, one thing I do very well is running to the ball. Uh, I, in 2019, I was at the ball almost every play. And then one thing I think I should work on is uh, tackling better because I had a tendency this year to just throw my shoulder 
I mean, it worked a lot of times, but I know in college it won't it won't work that easy. So. For sure, and I, I know you'll you'll perfect it. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> and, and Angie, uh, Mikel's had a ton of success, and and kind of speaking of success, you alluded to this earlier. But tell us about how much of a success the partnership with Dave Campbell's Texas Football uh, and the Whataburger Super Team has has been for Whataburger. I think it's a, a great um, brand uh, awareness as well as um, aligning us with another organization that, you know, shares the same um, thoughts and values that we have, um, especially when it comes to student success. So uh, we've, we've enjoyed our partnership for the last three years and, and hopefully it continues to and we'll be able to nominate and see, you know, all these uh, uh, rising stars. Absolutely. We're certainly excited for another year. And, and Coach Fedora, I kind of want to ask you the flip question of that is, you know, what does it mean to you to have sponsors like Whataburger involved in supporting not only a and Consolidated, but other Texas high school football programs across the state? I think it's outstanding. I think it's a neat thing to just show how much they care about Texas High School Coaches Association and, you know, the football program and then Dave Campbell's Texas football. This is just outstanding. I, I will always say this. I think, you know, We've got one of the greatest associations in the state. And, um, you know, what this does for our kids to have them excited about it, doing the things that they need to do to get them ready for the real world. And, you know, this is an exciting thing. We're very uh, appreciative of Whataburger. Thank you. We are as well. And, and Mikkel, I kind of want to give you the, the, the final words. Do you have any final words for, for Whataburger before we, before we sign off? Uh, thank you. Thank you for everything. You know, Whataburger, for us at least, is like a hangout spot after games. You get back late, only thing open in town is Whataburger. So, you know, that's just, that's just be, that's a great thing because, you know, after games, you get the Whataburger meals. And then when you get home, get home maybe like one, one or two in the morning, still be hungry, Whataburger again. So I, I just thank you guys for everything because <laughs> without Whataburger, <laughs> I don't know what Texas would be like. <laughs> <laughs> and you you we love to hear that so thank you so much we love that you know we're a hangout spot for you all and you know from Whataburger to you congratulations for bringing home that W for uh consolidated A&M A&M consolidated high school and Mikhail you you alluded to Whataburger so now I have to ask the question you said how much you eat there tell us what your go-to order is when 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 you go to Whataburger give us give us the menu Go to order for probably like the past three to four years, or however long the sweet and spicy bacon burger has been around. Mm -hmm. Every single time, that's exactly what I get sweet and spicy bacon burger. Mm -hmm. That is that is a staple. And coach, I got to bounce that same question to you. When, when you go to Whataburger, what's, what's your go to order? Cheeseburger medium combo with mustard pickles and cheese only, french fries, and a large sweet tea. He was not prepared for that at all. <laughs> we might know we might know where coach is going when, when we hit end on this call. So um, <laughs> hey guys, from the from the folks here at Dave Campbell's Texas Football, uh, Mikhail, we just want to congratulate congratulate you again on being named to the 2019 Whataburger Super Team. It's a, a tremendous honor here in the state. And um, you know, we wish you nothing but success moving forward as as you look to make the transition uh, into college and and Coach Fedora, anytime we get to talk to you, it's a pleasure. We thank you for, for your continued support and, and to carve out the time to be with us here today to, to honor Mikkel and, and Angie as well. Uh, you're obviously a great friend of the brand. Thank you for all your support uh, and to be here on behalf of Whataburger. Uh, we look forward to working with you, obviously, uh, throughout this, this football season as well. So I hope everybody continues to stay safe. Mikkel, I think on behalf of all of us, we wish you not, nothing but the best of luck. And uh, well, we hope talk to you soon. Thank you very much. And Mikhail, I love you, man. You have a great year and get after it and make me proud. Yes, sir. Love you too, Coach.